We're Trent and Allie, and after a whirlwind year of building, oh my god! Our goal is to move in in July. Of course, there's a couple bumps in the road. Yesterday, it snowed between 10 and 12 inches. But we're doing everything possible to keep moving forward. Hopefully we didn't just drive two trucks, two hours, for eight bags of insulation. And stay sane in the process. It's happening! Yeah! <laughs> Subscribe and come along today. Brandon just ran into that <laughs> telephone pole. As desperate times call for desperate measures. Today we're gonna be legendary status. What's up guys? Good morning. We've got some crazy stuff going on. I know in the last video you guys saw that spring had arrived and that I needed to shave my beard and that it was just ready for it to be warm weather and pretty much 80% of the snow was gone. Well, yesterday it snowed between 10 and 12 inches. We have a fresh foot of snow outside on top of our nicely dried dirt. The mud was almost gone in most places. I could walk around without getting mud on my boots. I could walk in the dry dirt. Now there's a foot of snow and it'll probably melt within the next couple days and then we'll have mud again for another week, which is fine. We knew what we were getting into by moving up here. The other problem that we're having, as you guys probably saw in some of our most recent videos, everything that's in a shortage lines up with when we need it. Insulation is the new toilet paper. There's a shortage of insulation. Insulation is the new toilet paper is what the people at Home Depot keep telling me. All of the insulation in all of the Home Depots and all of the Lowe's and all of the other places where you can buy insulation in local areas is completely gone. But I did find one Home Depot and they have 31 bags of insulation. Now, if my calculations are correct, we need like 42. But 31 will get us really close and it will give us something to do at least for the next couple days. The only problem is that this Home Depot is like two hours away. So we're gonna be going on a little bit of a road trip today. So I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking like, why are you guys going to such great extents to go and get this insulation right now? Why don't you wait until it's in stock in places that are nearby? And really it's because we're at this place where we've finished our four-way inspection and the next inspection that we have is insulation. Now there are some other things I guess that we could be doing like the roof or siding or stairs on the deck or that's probably about it. And with the current conditions, we can't really do the roof and the siding we can't put on until we do the exterior insulation, which I've ordered and it's still not gonna be here for another week and a half. So we have to get this insulation and start putting it on the interior walls. Once we get that done and we get our air barrier put up, which has already arrived, then we can actually call for an insulation inspection. Then we can move on to sheetrock. The other thing that we're kind of waiting on right now is today we were supposed to have a spray foam truck or a spray foam company come up and give us a bid. And I texted the guy yesterday and I said, hey man, uh, we got like a foot of snow yesterday. So it's really up to you. You can come today if you want, or you can come next week. And he said, I think I'll just hold off until next week. <laughs> so the weather is supposed to clear up after this snowstorm. He should be able to come up, give us a bid, let us know if he can get his equipment up to our house so that we can get the ceiling and the basement walls spray foamed because that will be a huge, you know, chunk of progress as well. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm not mad. This is like a, <laughs> this is a really fun road trip day where we get to just kind of hang out, listen to podcasts, play with the dogs that we have both of them in the back seat and it's a gorgeous day. There's no one on the roads because of the weather and it hasn't been snowing for the past couple hours, so the roads are in decent condition now, so as long as we go slow, we're fine, and it's kind of like a fun driving day. up to Home Depot number one. We're basically just meeting at this Home Depot and we're gonna meet Brandon here. 
because I don't know if I made this clear, but there's 31 bags of insulation and each bag is like the size of the front seats of our truck. And so Brandon is probably gonna hold about 12 to maybe 14 bags. And then we're gonna try and hold 17 bags or something like that. Basically, both of our trucks are gonna be extremely loaded down with insulation. And one thing I'm extremely glad about is that this insulation is waterproof. A real road trip without stopping at one of our favorite Mexican drive throughs It's really funny because this is like feels like authentic Mexican food, but it's not. It's American Mexican food, but it's really good, so you can't hate on it. <laughs> yeah. I got the burrito de jamón con crema. Crema, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I got a ham breakfast burrito with sour cream. It is my absolute favorite thing to get from any Beto's, Beto's, Berto's, Alberto's, Gualberto's. Those are all the same restaurant under different names. It's kind of like California. They have the same type of thing in California. There's just these like little taco burrito shops. They're usually super authentic, delicious homemade tortillas with, you know, you can get basically anything inside the burrito. I get ham with sour cream. <laughs> it's delicious. We've got about a two hour drive now. We're gonna hit the road. Hopefully it stops raining. And look who just showed up. Oh, he just backed into that Brandon pole. Just, Brandon just <laughs> ran into that telephone pole. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What's up? Good thing that's not a company truck. It'd be better for us. <laughs> better for you. Yeah. What'd you get? Breakfast burrito. Nice. Which one? Steak. Ah. Why? Yeah, the ham is where it's at. The ham is where it's at, bro. I love when my friends do stupid stuff like accidentally backing into a telephone pole like that or a light pole because then I can give them crap about it for months and months. <laughs> and it's something that you would definitely do also. And I've probably already done it to that exact same light pole. <laughs> It took a long journey through the snow and the ice and the wind and now it's actually pretty nice weather where we're at right now and we made it to Home Depot. We're here to pick up a billion bags of insulation and we're gonna try to fit them into the bed of both of our trucks, tie them down securely. And hopefully we'll be back on the road before too long. I'm actually really nervous because we paid for 31 of these and I really don't know if we're going to be able to put 31 between our two trucks. <laughs> we're gonna do our best. Really, one, depends on how it's packaged. Two, uh, just it depends on how well we can tie it down. I think it's this all the way down here at the end. having this issue recently where we order a certain number online and it says it's in stock at Home Depot and then Brandon goes to pick it up and only half of those bags of insulation are actually there. So uh, I called this Home Depot a couple days ago and said, hey, we just placed an order for 31 bags. Do you actually have 31 bags? And they went and checked and they were like, yeah, we do. We have them all right here. And I was like, great. Could you just package them up or set them aside and we'll come pick them up Thursday morning? And they're like, totally, no problem. And now that we're here, we have what, 10 bags? I think there's only eight or something. Eight bags are here right now. So hopefully we didn't just drive two trucks, two hours for eight bags of insulation. Seven. Seven bags, great. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, 
really good news. We found all of the insulation bags, which is incredible. The bad news is they are not packaged the way we anticipated them to be bundled tightly together. We're gonna get a little creative and figure out how to get all of these bags in these two trucks because we are definitely not making this trip again. <laughs> It doesn't really matter. We got all the time in the world to play insulation Tetris, and I was never really good at that game, but today we're gonna be legendary status. We're gonna get as many of these insulation bats in both of our trucks as we can, and I just hope we can get 31. No one but you and me, not them, they're gonna see. When everything's said and done, I'm gonna stay on the ground. The rain nothing, ain't nothing gonna, ain't nothing gonna bring us down. Oh man. <laughs> Six, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And we ordered thirty one? Okay. He said everything except for the one on the second shelf, and they left one on top and one down bottom. <laughs> you know, I love Home Depot, but. They're working hard, it's okay. They got a lot going on. Getting under my skin a little bit. So we've got all 31 bags. We've got them all loaded into the trucks. Brandon's is totally strapped down and hopefully it's not going anywhere. Now we just need to strap down our truck, make sure that's not going anywhere. And, uh, Enjoy our two hour journey back to the house. What do you think? Secure or not secure? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> Well, it looks like it's working out. We have, uh, I think we have 31 of them here. <laughs> We're gonna throw a pallet on the back of Brandon's truck, a pallet on the back of my truck, tie them down, and I uh, guess we're gonna hit the road. Mission success, well, part one, successful. We got, <laughs> we got here, we got all of the bags, we've loaded and strapped them down. We have to see if this journey home uh, will work. Hopefully it'll be very smooth and uneventful. Look at Brandon's truck. <laughs> <laughs> what a mess. Now we just have a two hour journey at, you know, 70 to 80 miles an hour the whole time. And hopefully we don't lose any insulation. Everything makes it to our location intact, no problems, because Brandon has to go home in about two and a half hours, and it's a two hour drive. So if we have even 20 minutes of complications, it's gonna be a big problem. Well, unbelievably, amazingly, we have had zero casualties. It's been a totally eventless, uneventful ride. Now we just have to do some slow speed, muddy, mucky, nasty stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we made it. We've got uh, about 20, maybe 30 minutes to spare. We've got to get all these bats unloaded and put up into the house before Brandon has to leave for the day. We've got a work cut out for us. Oh, Holy cow. What do you think? 
a lot of insulation, dude. I know. What a day, huh? Yeah, it was great. Very productive, honestly. Four plus hours of driving, half of a ham burrito, and <laughs> uh, a day that could have been better, but it could have been a lot worse. I'm actually like really happy about the, the sun and the temperature and the fact that it's like just barely snowing outside. It is getting really muddy because the snow's starting to melt again, but as soon as the snow's gone, the mud will be gone. And we are hoping that that happens sooner rather than later. <sighs> I'm just really excited to get Brandon here tomorrow morning so that we can start insulating this baby. I know. It's gonna make a huge difference. Like by the time these 31 bats are in the house, the majority of the walls in the house will be insulated. That's cool. <laughs> the majority of the exterior walls. We might need like maybe three or four more bags, mm -hmm. which should hopefully be easy to find somewhere around, but that's gonna make a huge difference with how often the furnace runs, how mm, warm it stays, yeah. how, like how it sounds and feels, and then the spray foam guy's coming on like next Wednesday or something, and... It's happening! Yeah! <laughs> ah. Things are moving. We're doing it, dude. We're doing it! We're building this freaking house. Can you even believe it? I can't. Also, Frank is chasing some prey. Some prey? Into the forest. Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed coming along on our little road trip today. We'll see you guys bright and early. So it's been about a year now that we've been drinking Athletic Greens every day. This really helps us have a well-rounded diet and Athletic Greens is the sponsor of today's video. Athletic Greens gives our bodies the nutrients it needs to thrive. It's the most complete formula out there, packed with 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients. It's basically a quick little shot of nutritional insurance early in the morning where I know it's gonna help me get the nutrients that I need. So if you guys are interested in trying Athletic Greens, I highly recommend it. I love this stuff. And if you guys click the link in our description, you guys will get their immunity bundle that comes with a one year supply of vitamin D3 and K2 and five travel packs. So check them out. Thanks again to Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video. We're gonna get ready and get to work. Spin right. Yes. Center. Yes. Good center. And I don't know why, don't know why, don't know why. I'm always feeling homesick. Oh. All I know, all I know, all I know is this is where my heart is. We are knocking it out. Me and Brandon have gotten started early this morning. I basically finished the entire insulation on the walls of the bathroom and underneath this window, Brandon is knocking out the kitchen right now. Got to do this other section of this wall and like the basement section of the 16 inch on center walls is almost done. Yeah. I'm really, really excited. And then we get to go upstairs, do all those 16 inch on center walls all the way up to the beam. And then we just have all the 12 inch on center walls, which will probably be the death of me because <laughs> every single piece has to be cut lengthways in order to fit in between the studs. We can do it. And it's gonna be a nightmare. Can't be any worse than plumbing. Plumbing was a pain in the butt. This is... You know what, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> <laughs> It was supposed to stop snowing like yesterday and the weather updated and now it's going to continue to snow all day today, which is lovely. And uh, I'm just going to bundle up, let these guys out for a little bit of exercise. And then hopefully by the time I get back, most of the house might even be insulated. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Yeah. If there is something we need, a leap of faith, a step away from the comfort zone, and be a little brave. So take a look around you. How far can you see? 
How far do you think you can run? It's still so crazy to me to think about how this is where we live. This is our backyard. It's quiet. There's no one around. It's freezing, but it's really beautiful. And I honestly never thought I'd live in this type of climate by choice. I'm a warm weather person for sure, but it's really made me appreciate the beauty of the snow and the winter and the cold, the beauty of a hot fire in the wood stove and some hot chocolate at the end of the day. And I know I'm gonna appreciate the summer whenever it decides to show up. It's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the day. If you have the will and a moment to spare, it's a beautiful world out there. It's a beautiful world out there. These guys have been making some serious progress in here. It looks incredible. I don't know if it's because we have music playing today. Maybe the fact that I wasn't in here this morning. Definitely. Distracting these guys. They have gotten so much done. It looks so good. This is not fun work. <laughs> I'd prefer to get it over as quick as possible. It's uh, not necessarily hard work. Just like a little sweaty, but really dirty. Yeah. And like the dirt and the dust and the <laughs> That keeps happening. Not a fan of that, but it's coming along really quickly. I've got most of this back wall done. We got most of that front wall done. All of the basement level is done except for the the really tall walls. It's coming together. You know Trent is annoyed about how actually dirty it is when he's wearing safety glasses and gloves. Come on, children of the sun. Come on, city lights. Let the world be your oyster. Have them fall into their knees. Begin, please. I'm gonna have to throw these clothes away when I'm done with this. Yeah. So many particles and so much dust and ugh, all over the place. Definitely taking a trip to grandma's laundromat. I am really glad we literally have our whole bedroom minus the ceiling insulated. The yeah. bathroom and the bedroom are fully insulated. It's pretty cool. And in fact, the majority of the basement is insulated. The only thing that we have left to do insulation as far as the <laughs> external walls go is that tall wall and the stairs, this tall wall and that tall wall. So it is about <laughs> twice as much work as what we've already done today. And it's gonna be like on the scaffolding and mm. a huge nightmare, but let's go see how many bags of insulation we have. I think we have a lot. We have 12. We had 31. Oh wow. Hmm. So. It's not gonna be enough. <laughs> that means we've used about 19 bags and we already had about a quarter of the basement or the, the main floor insulated when we started. So that was probably five bags. So I'd say we're about 17 bags short. <laughs> now I did check the internet. Oh. Uh -huh. And it did say that one of the Home Depots in the Valley had 17 bags, but this is also the Home Depot that we've placed pretty substantial orders at and then shown up and there was zero bags. Mm. So I don't know whether to trust them or not. All I do know is we got about half of it done and I'm really itchy. I'm really excited. <laughs> I know you don't want to hear this Trent, but it might make your life so much easier and so much less itchy if you shave your beard. My beard is the only thing protecting me right now. <laughs> my beard doesn't protect my eyes and my eyes are like the itchiest part. Yeah. We have a, a couple hours left. We're gonna power through and get as much done as we can. Oh, my God. 
God. No. I can't take my mask off because there's a billion particles floating around in the air. But we got a lot done. We did this entire wall. We did all underneath the stairs. We did half of that gable end wall. Everything down here and everything upstairs on that side of the house. That's amazing. So literally all we have left is the rest of this wall above the stairs. And then the second and third half of the gable end wall here. But it is Friday <laughs> and Saturday, Sunday. Yes. <laughs> and uh, Brandon and I are completely exhausted and, and we hate insulation. <laughs> More than web stiffeners for sure. Oh yeah, I would more than web stiffeners. Absolutely. Oh my god. Yeah, this is this. Maybe we just hate everything. <laughs> maybe we're super negative, but this actually sucks. Like full proper sucks super bad. It looks awesome though. And I'm gonna be really happy once we get it done and we get the air barrier put up, and we don't ever have to deal with it ever again. And until then, you're just gonna complain. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh yeah. Quite Absolutely. the day. Absolutely. Both quite the day. Oh, I just need to shake out my clothes and go shower like right now. Yeah. I second that. <laughs> I cannot imagine doing this, first of all, in the summertime when it's hot and yeah. you don't want to wear pants and long sleeves yeah. or a hat or anything. Like, I make it ten times worse. Plus, today I've learned what it would be like to do a physical labor job with asthma yeah. because like that respirator just like it makes it so you can't fully breathe mm -hmm. and at like 8,000 feet of elevation with a respirator and like moving around and like doing stuff actively I was just like starving for oxygen pretty much all day yeah it's like so rough anyways I know we said we were gonna stop complaining but <laughs> I'm gonna go inside and we're gonna take a shower This is Trent's favorite part of the day, right here. <laughs> what, sit on the couch and eat cookies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday! <laughs> and I'm gonna eat some cookies. How yeah. do you feel now that you took a shower? I feel like a new man. I bet. I feel like a million bucks. <laughs> I'm glad that we're like three quarters of the way done. I think maybe two or three more days of like itchy nasty insulation days and we should be completely done well we have to do insulation on the outside but it'll be very very different and i don't think it'll be nearly as difficult so i don't know if you guys enjoyed coming along on our little road trip when we went and got the insulation and then watching brandon and i get the insulation put in yeah. we're making huge progress and i bet with the insulation that's in there right now the furnace is going to run like half as much as it did already and next week the spray foam guys come in like things are things are happening our goal is to move in in july let us know if you think that's reasonable it's only april we have plenty of time yeah most people that know what they're talking about have kind of laughed at us but the people <laughs> that don't know are like you can do it so whoever you are if you're a person we that knows or you're not a person that knows give us a little bit of confidence and let us know whether you think we can do it or not we hope you guys enjoyed coming along on this adventure today. If you did, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. If you have the will and a moment to spare, it's a beautiful world out there. frightening something you don't know you need a little